Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sasyakar and hello everyone. Today's recipe is one of my favorite breakfast recipe back from my country, Pakistan. I was craving naan chane so much that I had to make it by myself for all you guys at home so you can try this this Sunday and let me know how I did it. Forgot to mention one teaspoon garam masala in the ingredients so just giving you a go ahead. Let's make murk chane. Before I start the ingredients of murk chane, we have to boil chickpeas or chane. If you're using half a kilogram or one pound of chicken, I'll suggest you to use one cup of chickpeas or chane. We are going to pressure cook our chickpeas until they're soft enough and then we're going to start cooking our mur chane. The ingredients for mur chane are 1 kilogram of chicken, 2 onions of medium size, we are going to finely chop them, 4 tomatoes, we are going to finely chop them as well, 4 green chilies, we are going to chop them as well, 3 tablespoons of coriander leaves, we are going to finely chop them as well. 1 and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 and a half teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, 1 and a half teaspoons of crushed red chili, 2 teaspoons of red chili powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of coriander powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of turmeric powder, 3 tablespoons of masoor dal or red lentils soaked overnight, 3 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, 2 cups of chickpeas or chanas that we just boiled and then we'll need around half a cup of water one cup or half a cup of ghee to cook all of this salt is going to be according to your taste you can add three teaspoons or one tablespoon that's all up to you let's go to work quickly chopping our vegetables So we will start by adding around half to one cup of ghee in a pan. Start by frying onions. We are going to fry the onions till they become translucent. Don't overcook these onions. If you overcook these onions, your gravy is going to be darker than your future. Onions are translucent. We are going to add the fenugreek seeds. Now we're going to fry the onion until they're light golden brown. So the onions are turning light golden brown and it's time to add our tomatoes. We are going to cook the tomatoes until they get softened. So the tomatoes have gone soft. We are going to add our ginger garlic paste and we're going to add the Red lentils. We're going to mix everything up. We're going to wait until the lentils are a bit cooked and then we're going to add the chicken and the rest of the ingredients. It's time we add our chicken to the pan. Going to cook the chicken until it changes its color. As soon as the chicken changes its color, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. One and a half teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder, one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, around two teaspoons of red chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of crushed red chili, one teaspoon of turmeric. Going to mix everything. It's time to add the salt. We are going to add a cup of water, mix everything, lower the heat down to medium low and cook everything until the chicken is visibly completely cooked. As you can see the chicken is cooked, it's time we add the chickpeas in it. After adding the chickpeas, we will keep mixing them until the oil leaves the pan and by leave I don't mean literally leave the pan uh, until the oil starts surfacing 
as you can see the oil has surfaced I'm going to add a teaspoon of garam masala in it the chopped green chilies in it and the chopped coriander in it I'm going to mix everything and leave it for simmer for around 4 to 5 minutes Mok chana is ready to be served I'm going to dish it out now If you like this recipe don't forget to press like don't forget to subscribe hit the bell button for constant recipe notifications and don't forget to share it with your friends and families I'll see you with another recipe pretty soon until then it's goodbye